Bought myself um, a box of watch parts, and you'll see why in an upcoming build. It's brilliant. And I think it's really careful with all of this stuff because oh, these are actually live watch parts, and that's the spring from inside a watch. And I don't know why that other piece just went. It just went ting off the side of me here somewhere. Anywho, uh, welcome back. I know it's not the Y-Wing build that you're all expecting. Ooh, that's magnetic. Get off. Um, what I'm actually doing at the moment is, I've had quite a few comments over the last few days about how I set my camera up. Now, it's either through the E-Models builds, or uh, there's a couple of you have asked during the Y-Wing build itself, and other builds and things like that. So, just a quick thing, uh, just to show you how I have my camera set up so I can do all this tracking. And things like this that I do during the videos and all this kind of stuff. Now as you can see it's actually a little bit tidier than it will be in the video you're about to see apart from that side there because that's always messy but hopefully you'll be able to see how I do this and the setup I have and oh dear, I'll throw a link in the description for the bits and pieces you'll need to achieve this kind of thing. So sit back, relax, enjoy and I'll find out where that just shot off to. Boom! That's the kind of thing that happens off camera. Uh, as you can see, that's the, the working area. That's the kind of view that you're used to. But what we have here is my PC and monitor are under there somewhere. And we've got all this nonsense going on from builds. And we've got all that nonsense up top going on from builds. Then that. And we've got the spray booth itself. So it's literally from here up into there. And then the camera setup itself is actually one of these silly little microphone stands. It's basically uh, a light stand without the light. Set up to the Canon. Is it a Canon? I can't remember which bloody maker camera that is actually. There you go. A Canon HD something or other. That's set up to a dedicated power supply so no more running out batteries. Uh, that's the kind of view that I get. So when I'm working, I'm actually looking in here. Not actually. I know there's no memory card. I'm not actually looking down here, I'm looking through this screen because I'm literally on top of what I'm working on like this so I can't quite get my head around this area like you normally would so I'm actually watching everything from there which is quite bizarre it's kind of like um, that's endos endoscopic surgery you know, they're, they're doing the thing inside the body without actually doing anything so that's kind of the view I get hopefully you can catch that without too much glare there we go that's the kind of view that I've got so that's the, the setup, and it's got a decent enough microphone that it actually picks up everything I'm saying. Uh, well, yeah, that's basically it. A big swing arm. I've had to get a dedicated proper camera mount for it. Uh, just whip all that off. This is going to be interesting. I'm trying to do all this with one hand. <laughs> so it's literally it's double lock as well on that side. So that I can position him wherever I want him to be. And turn it back up again. It's got a proper tightening up gimbal type thing for left and right. So it's lacking that nut there. And you can actually slide the whole camera out in one go. Which is kind of freaking me out at the moment. There we go. So if I just undo that piece. Off here. Now this thing was a decent amount of money. Um, I managed to get £25 off from an Amazon gift card voucher type thing. I did get it from Amazon. And then eventually, once we get through this thread, what we've got there is that thread itself and all those nuts are actually, let me think, one quarter by 20, I think it is. So it's the actual standard thread that you get under here. Let's take all this off. Just get the power supply, that'd be uh, that would be helpful. So I'll just take off the, the mounting bracket from underneath. You can actually buy these mounting brackets spare as well. This one comes with the gimbal. There you go. So that thread there actually matches up with the standard thread that matches here. 
I'll flash it the dimension of it. I think it's one quarter by twenty, something daft like that. That's basically what that thread is. And it's all tightened up so that it shouldn't move and things like that. Loosen that thread. So you have to buy these as well to adapt because as you can see that thing there is huge. And if we pop it over the top, it doesn't even touch the sides. I'll let you make your own jokes. So you need that adapter screw. And I'll try and put links in the description for the stuff you'll need. It's all from Amazon. Everything you see here. Turn that back up again. Yeah, so it's all from Amazon. Uh, Amazon UK though. So obviously if you're watching this stateside or anywhere else in the world, check your local versions of Amazon. As you can see, that's a decent length of thread that we're going on to. So it's nice and sturdy. I'll tighten that right back up so I've now got left and right. And then I've got up and down, side to side, and all the way around. It's a cracking little gimbal, that one. It's definitely worth spending the money on. But that's basically the setup. So, hopefully that's going to give you a couple of ideas um, I'll show you the clamp in a minute that it's on to the lighting is very basic it's basically a, a three point lighting system just bear with me two seconds whilst I sort this uh, these clampules out the stand actually comes with and there's my air hose for the air tank which is down there somewhere um, this actually screws onto a table as well as being clamped underneath so that you've got that nice sturdy yeah, support system. It won't go anywhere. I've got one light coming up. Ha! Ah. Another light coming up around about there. So that's my two point, and then my third point is there, which is horribly dim. Uh, but that's basically my lighting. So when you see me saying, right, just the lighting, I'm actually giving it all this off to the side with both of them. And when you hear me shouting, stay, it's because one light's doing that. And every now, he's proven me wrong now. Every now and then, it comes right the way down like this as I'm filming, which isn't uh, isn't ideal. But that's basically it. That's the workspace. So when I'm saying that there's a right old mess off to the side, that's because I'm working on a couple of different projects all at the same time. And as you can see, it goes round the corner. So I'm actually working on all of that at once. It's rubbish. But yeah, basically that's it. So hopefully that'll give you a clue. Um, you know, I'm not a neat freak by any stretch of the imagination, as you can see. This is the best part of it, trying to figure out what's going where now. It's great. So, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon. And if you want to shout at me for being untidy, I'll ignore you like I ignore my parents. <laughs> so hopefully that helps. Try again. So hopefully that helps. I've just found another live part, I think. No, I haven't. I've not got my glasses on. Oh, where'd that go? Woo, that's sharp. I've got my glasses on. I can't see anything. Um, hopefully that helps you. And now that I've shown you all that, if you've got the finances behind you to do so, let's start seeing your videos. It's did easy. If I can do this, you, you can definitely do this. You really can do this. It's not so very long ago. I was sat there doing this as well, thinking, oh, yeah, I should I shouldn't I? Trust me, once you get into it, it's brilliant. Uh, the editing side of things, I'll let you do all kinds of research yourself on YouTube's because I do the editing, I don't know how I do it, I just manage to cobble it all together, throw some sound effects on and apparently I make good videos. I don't think so. Um, but as long as you guys keep saying, oh, and that kind of thing, I'll keep throwing them up. Not throwing up, but throwing them up. But yeah, um, the editing side of things, I'll leave you to figure out your own programs and stuff like that. The program I use is Serif movie plus x6 i think um but yeah there's plenty of others out there if you've got an adobe account you know the um they've got a couple of good ones sony vegas apparently do a good one uh, i don't know never tried it uh you've even got a built-in windows movie maker and your own computer now i used to use that but i found this uh this program that i use at the moment was a freebie to start with you get a free trial and then eventually the, the pesty and pesty and pesty to buy it and then eventually it'll drop the price right down so instead of you know just paying something stupid like 
80 pound I think they wanted for it they got the price right down to 15 quid I was like oh yep alright I'll have that so you know you pay some money you take your choice and all that kind of stuff I'll leave you to figure that out for yourself so hopefully that helps now that you've got all this knowledge start making your own videos trust me it's the best thing you'll ever do build something on video please please let's see your stuff as well it's brilliant trust me if I can do it you guys definitely can I'll see you soon